Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We'll continue the remaining slides. Okay. Project process categories. What is project process category? So actually the process the processes in the process groups are categorized as two main factors like core and facilitating. Core and facilitating. Core is actually the process with dependence such that they must be performed in order. They should be performed in order like sequence. They should be performed in order sequence systematically like stage by stage one, two, three, four, five like this. Then facilitating means process that well, no less necessary are performed intermittently as needed during the phase. Like, for example, if there is any need at the, uh, while, while executing the process, while executing the project, if there is any need, then you have to, you have to deliver those facilities so that, you have to deliver the facilities we got so that it runs in a very smooth manner, so that the project is done in a very smooth manner during the need, during the need of the, uh, during the need, yeah, that is very important. Then project, Process continued, yeah. Then we have uh, like individual processes within a process group can be described either input, tools and techniques, output. Then uh, we have uh, like this is actually the book. It gives the uh, references like how it is done, how, they, how we are doing it as a reference. So input is all the documents and uh, items that are acted upon. Inputs are the documents and items. Then we have uh, like for example tools and techniques, inputs also, it talks about raw material, see raw material like for example people, uh, people, then you have raw material, yeah. Then you have energy, then information, then uh, budgets, funds, yeah, budgets, all these to be taken and put into a system so that to obtain the, they put into a system so that to obtain the output, to obtain the output. Then we have tools and techniques. Tools and techniques, they are the mechanisms. They are the mechanisms applied to inputs. They are the mechanisms applied to the inputs. Like we have uh, details like uh, data gathering. Data gathering is very important. Then you have um, data analysis. Data analysis. Then you have data representation. Data representation, yes. Then you have uh, decision making. Decision making. Then communication, then skills. So all these things can be seen as a tools and technique mechanisms, as inputs to the uh, to get the, to gather the to get the outputs. The outputs, documents, items are related to the produce based on this uh, data given as a feedback for getting the result. Then we have uh, like. Um, nine knowledge areas we have nine knowledge areas like scope management implementation management cost management quality management human resource management communication management risk management and procurement management so these should be taken into consideration while uh, designing the core functions and this is for the facilitating functions so these are the two important things uh, to be taken into consideration like for example what is the scope management scope management is that like for example uh, outputs, outcomes, and they are benefited as, and uh, they benefit. They are benefits and identify and define and controls. So actually, this is the actually the outputs. This is the outputs, outcomes. Then benefits. They are the benefits uh, identified as, identified and controlled. They are the benefits identified and controlled. From this benefits identified and controlled. This is a scope management. Then we see it's a time management. This is actually time management. Time management. It is the process of planning and exercising the control of time. It's having a control on. You have a control on time. For activities, especially to increase for the activities, to increase the effectiveness. Effectiveness. Efficiency. Productivity, that's very, very important. So these things to be taken into consideration. Then you have cost management. Cost management also, it talks about, uh, like uh, from planning, from planning to planning the, uh, life say, planning the project, then, then budget allocation, budget allocation, then controlling, controlling the cost, then 
executing the project, executing. So all then performance, perform all these uh, factors are taken into consideration while you are doing this cost management. Then you have a very important quality. What is quality? Quality actually it is the uh, fitness for use. Quality management is fitness for use. So mainly the quality, quality management is, uh, uh, it talks about how we, how the products uh, use fitness qualities qualities fitness for use like it talks about how it uh, so customer satisfied how the customer satisfied how the customer and how you are able to meet the needs of the customer then actually it's also known as uh, like a, a total quality also they call it a total quality management total quality management tkm total quality management it talks about uh, how you enhance the customers like uh, for example there are tools like um, value stream mapping vs value stream mapping case and case value stream mapping means it is the uh, like how you improve the lead time lead time lead time of the product lead time of product then Kazan is the continuous improvement. Kazan is continuous improvement. What is the lead time? Lead time is the time taken by raw material. It goes in as a, as a time taken by a product. Like for example, time taken by a product as raw material and comes out as a finished product. So time gap from the raw material to finished product is known as a lead time. Okay, so this all to maintain uh, in quality management. So this is one of the tools. And also Six Sigma. Six Sigma is a zero defect concept in quality management. So all these makes to enhance the product effectiveness so, so that you are able to meet the needs of the customer demands. Then you have human resource management. Human resource management actually it is a recruiting process. It is recruiting. It is a recruiting, appointing. Then you have um, then selecting, recruiting, selecting the employees. Then uh, giving them training, giving them training. Then appraisal issues, appraisal. So all these um, functions, all these functions are done by the human resource management. So that you're able, then you have also the t something. Some uh, companies, many companies have trade unions, trade unions, and uh, then safety of employees. So all these functions are they're done by the human resource management. Then communication management. Communication management is a systematic planning. It is a planning. It is a planning, implementation, then monitoring, then revision of communication and monitoring, and also it is a, a like a line of command. Actually, it's a line of command from top management to bottom within the organization, or within the organization, or within or between the organizations. Then you can see risk management. Risk management actually it is like identifying and controlling the threats. Threats, identifying and controlling the threats. Safety, safety. Yeah. Uh, even uh, like for example, when you have uh, uh, like variety of sources, including financial uns uncertainty, legal, financial, financial uncertainty, financial uncertainty. Yeah, financial uncertainty. Then also legal, legal problem, legal liabilities, legal liabilities. Then uh, management errors, or uh, accidents, accidents, uh, also to, due to natural disasters, natural disasters. So how you safeguard all this is, um, deals with uh, risk management. So this is how we can uh, have idea about it. And procurement management, how you manage all these resources is known as procurement management in a very systematic manner. Then uh, you have a uh, next slide for example, like uh, management areas, like how you manage this. This is what we have seen in the last slide, like I have given you the details about, I mean, so scope management, time management, cost management, human resource management, communication management, risk management, integration management, uh, quality management, and procurement management. This integration, I just, uh, integration management actually talks about the, like, um, trade-offs, like objectives, like how you plan project, plan, project, plan, development, project, plan, development, then plan execution talks about uh, integrated integrated change control yeah integrated change control. So all these details are done by the uh, integration management then you have procurement management is all these goods and services all these goods and um, uh, services all the goods and services uh, need need of all the goods and services for developing the project so that uh, you're able to save money you're able to save money not not spending more money 
able to save money and uh, without uh, purchasing the uh, unwanted uh, unwanted resources because you're able to keep a uh, like a check able to keep the check on extra expenditure extra expenditure so extra expenditure okay so procure management is to save money from the resources within organization so you are not you are not uh, uh, are buying from outside no outside okay yes then project initiation see project initiation actually it is the uh, project initiation is the like uh, for example have uh, various uh, plans like you have stages like market demand uh, business need then customer request technological advance then legal requirement so very very important is this market demand market demand actually it is like a uh, some of individual demand for a product from buyers in the market see we have a demand from the buyers you have a demand from the buyers in the market then uh, like for example if more buyers enter into the market they have ability to pay uh, for items on sale then the market demand at each price rises so uh, it has like for example if there are more buyers if there are more buyers automatically we have they they have we can get more profit so that's the main uh, idea of the creating demand then business needs actually it is like um, the needs of the business to achieve to describe the goals to describe the goals objectives and solve problems so this is the business need and we can see customer request customer request always you can see it is like a uh, based on the like if they want always the products to be good quality good quality but low price that's very important they are the request every time the customer requests and based on the you can also have a, uh, details about uh, that like discount discounts discounts then uh, like promotion sales like promotion sales offers offers during festivals during festivals so these are the customer requests also the technological uh, advance it is like it actually like um, uh, technological advance means it is like uh, how the uh, advancement in technology like they want latest uh, latest uh, specifications it is specifications to meet the need to meet the need of customer so they want latest everything updates updates all latest everything latest is known as technological advance so you should your project should be of up to date not it should be far behind uh, the advancement and legal requirement legal requirement actually it is like uh, you should follow the law then uh, also you should have proper judgment proper judgment then follow the rules and regulations all the rules and regulations follow the rules and regulations of the country yeah then have good license proper license to start your project then you should have the proper uh, documents from government that's very very important